All right, guys, so we're here with Travis. You may recognize him from the podcast. Um, he is a Volkswagen expert. He has a lot of experience working with these cars. So if anybody can get this thing running, he can. So we're gonna have him take a look at it and see what he thinks. If the battery is totally, totally dead, a jump start may not work. So we're gonna try and isolate, take out this battery completely and just use your battery to start the car. Then we're gonna have to find out whether the transmission is good or not, because it sounds like there's gonna be a transmission problem. All right, well, let's get started here yeah. and see how it goes. Okay. So this guy here is the Power Pope 3. There's the fourth one out as well. Comes with the lead set, so just all types of leads. You can plug into light bulbs, you can punch wires, you can hook into fuses, basically anything you need. Like it's not turning over at all. At all. So that that's is why we're thinking it's the starter. If it was cranking, going shh, 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 it would the starter would be fine. So I wonder if the starter crapped out and she thought it was a dead battery. Oh, we had something there. As you just saw, we attempted to jumpstart the car with no luck. Yeah, we, we hooked it up. We had power for a while, and then felt like something happened, and then we lost all our power. And then every time we, as long as we had the jumper cables hooked up to the Jetta, we weren't able to get any power. We took the jumper cables off the Jetta, the power at the jumper leads, but as soon as we hooked them up to the battery, it stopped with giving us power. Kind of pain in the ass. Yeah, it's, it's the Volkswagen thing, I think. And so what we did was we attached the battery to an actual charger and we'll leave it overnight. So we'll make sure that the battery is good and charged. And I guess we'll give it another shot here yeah. in the next day or so. Hey guys, we're back. So the battery's been charging now for two days. So we're gonna throw it into the car and hopefully that solves our electrical problem. If this doesn't work, we're gonna have to go through and start testing fuses, which I really do not <laughs> wanna do. No, me either. So let's cross our fingers and let's get to it. All right, so to show you guys how bad this really is, like I can literally, <laughs> moment of truth. Now, I can't get shocked unless I'm touching that, right? No, I'm, I'm holding this away. Yeah, yeah you're good. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Okay, turn off the car before we kill it. So it's on its I'm own I'm so power. fucking happy right now. High five. Good. Good job. Because originally we thought that we blew a fuse trying to jump it. So now we know that there's really. no blown up fuses because that would have been a bitch to actually yeah. go through. So basically now the car's under its own power. So if we go in there and it starts, which it's kind of like a 50-50, probably not going to start. But if it does, then that's great news. If it doesn't, then we got to start diagnosing other things. God, it's cranking for the first time. Okay, so that, that was the problem. Well, why don't we keep it keep it cranking? Let's okay, but we just need to make sure we're not gonna crank it and something bad's gonna happen. We are one step closer to making it run, cleaning it up, and hopefully making a couple thousand dollars. If we made over like 500 bucks, I would be thrilled to be honest. Holy shit! Dude! It's running! Oh my god. All right, so the car is idling for the first time, and I know a lot of you guys who watched the first episode wanted us to go down the fix-it route. So we're doing our best. So we got it idling. Now we are going to attempt to drive it. So best case scenario, it drives fine and we sell it. <laughs> but uh, if it doesn't, then we further diagnose what's going on. So let's check it out. What? So it works. No. <laughs> Okay, here we, no. we haven't put it in the first yet, though. But we can, we can drive backwards everywhere. Hmm. Alright. The car 
car works. Dude! <laughs> the, car works. the car works! Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> I don't want to go too far just in case it oh dies. Oh my god! We fixed the car! We fixed it! We got a free car. Oh that, my god! That the owner just did not want to deal with. And, you know, with less than, I would say, three hours of work put into it. Hold on. Dude, we still need to figure out why it sounds so shitty. All right, so the car is running, but we can still sell a couple parts off the car that aren't required to actually complete the car as a whole. One of which is this trailer hitch mount thing bracket here. Someone is interested in the part and has contacted us on Craigslist, so we're going to just basically disconnect all of this and see how much we can get for this to go towards our profit and, uh, well, hopefully profit. We're still trying to break even at this point, but uh, yeah, let's take it off and see what we can get for it. All right, we are here with Travis now. So now we're gonna take the wiring harness out. Yeah. So this should be pretty basic. And then yeah. after that, we're gonna try to do like a once over on the car. And out of all three of us, me, you and Grayson, you're like, have the most experience with yeah. dubs. I've worked on a few. Yeah, there you go. So let's get to it. And hopefully yeah. by the end of tonight, we can have it like actually driving. Yeah. Which would be yeah. awesome, so. Can I do all three at once? Oh, there goes one. Yeah, is it the yellow one or is it the red one? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got the wiring harness out, kind of. That's done with. We're not going to spend that much time on it, honestly. We're going to make a maximum of like 50 bucks on it. So yeah. start this All right. up. So what are awesome. we doing here? We're going to start it. I haven't heard it yet. I'm excited. Oh, man. That's fine. OK, I'm hearing a clicking, though. Yeah, it's old. I it's mean, gone. It's, it's, that's nothing. Why would it be clicking? It's probably uh, sticky lifters. It's been parked for so long, it takes a while for it to get back into working order. The oil has to circulate back to the top. I think we looked at the dipstick last time. The oil doesn't look very good, so that doesn't help either. I think, surprisingly, doing oil change will probably clear a lot of that clicking up. Honestly, it sounds like... It sounds awesome. I, yeah. Like, you don't even need to do a tune-up. It's a Volkswagen. It's what they sound like. I'm gonna close this yeah. a little bit and then rev the engine. That sounds awesome. Yeah. I'd drive it. Oh well, yeah. Yeah, like I said, when yeah. you were driving down the driveway, definitely. It was strong. Oh yeah, no, I do smell that. I do. It just smells like mold and grossness, though. Yeah. You yeah. Think it's anything bad? Let's get this plastic engine cover off, and we'll get the spark plugs off and see how they look. See how. Awesome. Yeah. We have, we're following the spark plug wires, trying to find where they are. One's right here, it's nice and easy. Pull it out. Those are supposed to have some more stuff on them. Um, second one's easy again, right there. But the third one is somewhere under here. So basically we're hoping for no like oil. Yeah, and that's... another thing I noticed, these blue wires here aren't stock wires. They've, so oh, okay, yeah. The, the spark plugs have been done and it has 120,000 kilometers on it. 127,000 kilometers on it, so that's plenty that's of good. life for a second set of spark plugs. But we'll pull them out anyways because it's fun. Uh, just pulled out the spark plug. What we mainly look, I mainly look for the gap. Sorry, it's, uh, it's not too bad. It is big. It's bigger than it should be, so it's worth replacing. We're going to test the coolant with this here hydrometer. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, yeah, someone like just put those on. I was expecting like a minute. Yeah, meter. oh yeah, that's brand new. All right, so Travis, we pretty much did a complete once over yeah. on the car, yep. ran over all the basic stuff. We didn't really find no, much. No, I'm well, still in shock. It's, but aside from aesthetic stuff, the rust, which we're gonna yeah. go to a scrap yard yeah. and see if we can find a hood, bumper, a hood, hubcap. So before we get into cleaning the car, we were actually able to find a bumper as well as a new hood on Craigslist for a decent price. It'll get rid of the rust as well as it'll get rid of the paint chips in the back, which is nice. Bring our price up. There you go. There we go. One, two, three. We're gonna leave it like this. We have plants growing in our car. So we just came back from the parts car, which was just down the road, luckily enough, and we picked ourselves up a new hood and a bumper, free of scratches and dings, no rust. So 
Let's get going. Let's get this thing back installed. All right, so what are we doing here? We are getting the carpet cleaner ready to go. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, what is that? That's a grat shit. Well, there's the air that you're breathing when you're in the car. That's pretty much. All right, guys, so it's been a very long day. Grayson, Travis, and I have been working all afternoon cleaning up the VW. That was the main thing for today. So what we did, or what Grayson and Travis did earlier, was they actually found a hood and a rear bumper that are in mint condition, color matched and everything. So all the rust that was on the front of here before is now gone because of the new hood and the rear bumper, all that paint peeling is all mint now. So that was the first step for today. Second step was dry vacuum. So we did that and then we um, sprayed down the engine. And last was steam cleaning the entire inside, which I gotta say was probably the worst part of the day. Tomorrow, kind of just the last few touch ups and then pretty much we'll be ready to sell. So breaking down the costs for you. The wet vac, $34. The hood and the rear bumper, $200 for both, plus the tow truck for $161. So that is the total amount of money put into the car so far. So once again, comment down below and try to guess what we're going to make on the car. What Obviously, it's pretty clear right now. Looking at the interior, the car runs great. We're going to make a profit. Just how much is up in the air. So comment below, and we will see you in part three.